In order to find the total resistance in a series circuit, we need to add up all the individual components that have resistance. So I have here a circuit with two 120 ohm resistors and a wire. If I need to find the total resistance in this circuit, I'm going to measure those individual components. So this first one be approximately 120 ohms, okay, depending on how I hold my meter. This wire, about 1.5 ohms, depending on how I hold my meter leads. We can see that even a conductor is still going to have resistance, even though we want it to have very little resistance, it's still going to have some. And then this final one will read about 125 ohms of resistance. So that's within the tolerance of the resistor plus the way that I'm holding my meter leads. Okay, so in order to get the total resistance, I just need to sum up these three components. I can measure it right here, and we can see that our total resistance is about 243.4. So if I add another component to this series circuit, it's going to increase the total resistance in the circuit. As the total res resistance in the circuit increase, that's going to decrease the total current that flows through the circuit. So in a series circuit, each component is going to play a pretty significant role on the current that will flow through the circuit.